Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am Rupali Shah, a blockchain developer and your instructor at Newton School. So today's video uh, will be dedicated to connect the Metamask wallet with a React application with the help of Ether.js library. Now we are using Ether.js library because of two reasons. First one is that in a recent React update, we have seen and observed that Web3 is not working because the web pack compatibility with Web3 library is not uh, very uh, smoothly done till now. So we have decided to start the Ether series instead of Web3. Now, Web3 and Ether are similar libraries. They both are used to uh, connect to the Ethereum blockchain, uh, your uh, main React application to Ethereum blockchain. Just the internal working of both the libraries are a bit different. So uh, let's uh, start Ether.js instead of uh, Web3.js. So let's continue. And uh, before moving to the React app and initializing the uh, ether.js library objects and uh, calling some functions let me introduce you with uh, newton school now newton is an edtech company that helps you to become a full stack developer so if you are someone who is aiming to uh, build your career in a uh, front end and back end and uh, become a full stack developer then i will suggest you to check out the link in the description because that link will surely help you to uh, get updates of your the courses which we have and uh, this will be like a, a bonus point for you because you will be understanding the course pattern you will be understanding the uh, that how this course would help you in your future so it's an important thing and you should not miss it out and uh, the best part about this edtech company is that in the starting of the courses you don't have to pay any fees uh, you are very uh, like uh, a, a person who will be studying but will be not uh, bothering to pay the fees of the courses and they also guarantee you a placement from 5 lakhs to 40 lakhs so yeah once you get a placement then you can uh, pay the fees uh, of the courses which you have took from this particular edtech company now uh, if you are a person interested to become a full stack developer i will surely uh, suggest you to click on the link in the description so let's get started with today's agenda uh, let's uh, start with wallet connection and first let's have a look in the documentation of ether.js so let's open ether.js ether.js hmm, and yeah uh, let's just uh, open the docs of ether.js now this library uh, is uh, will help you to start like uh, getting connected to the blockchain your application basically and then fetch fetching data from the blockchain so these libraries uh, either we talk about web3 or ether the main purpose of both the libraries is to provide a pathway for your web2 application to talk with web3 applications the the solidity contracts which we have built the core business logics which we have built now we are trying to connect those solidity contracts those uh, business logics to a front end so till now we were practicing the business logics of uh, uh, language uh, which uh, uh, helps you to develop the uh, application on a on a particular blockchain but now it's time to give it a interface and this interface will help you to get like uh, give user a better experience give user a platform where they can actually feel that they are working with web 2 only uh, there is no changes in uh, the application the way the they were clicking the buttons uh, the way they were uh, processing the whole uh, like uh, any other applications on their uh, browsers same way they could like uh, uh, be happy to work with uh, web 3 too because no one wants any uh, complication in the working of a uh, application so this is a uh, main thing over here and uh, let's get started let's uh, 
start our uh, application process so uh, this was the file uh, which we have already created in our previous video where we connected our uh, meta marks with the help of windows object but today we will be using a library for this and we use libraries because it actually provides us so many functions and modules that could help you to work in an advanced way so yeah i have already installed this ethor library with the help of npm i ethos and we are using its version 5.4.7 with our react app so yeah let's get started uh, let's first create and and we have imported that particular library in our uh, file app.js so first let's have a look on the particular interface i guess you are uh, aware of this interface if you have watched our uh, previous video now let's get started so the first thing uh, is to create a provider so we will be having one uh, variable which will be provider and this provider basically uh, will be uh, the part of our uh, main application so provider basically helps you to identify that uh, which node we are using and uh, which is the like uh, which chain is there uh, which wallet is there so that all information will be under the provider section so let's uh, create the provider new ether dot providers dot web provider and we need to pass a json rpc because uh, we are trying to connect to a like we need to pass a node which is already connected to our uh, like ethereum blockchain so we already have seen that metamax provides you an node because it internally uses infura nodes so in this video we will be using the same uh, node window dot ethereum node and this node is uh, this basically line will be uh, giving us the node from our metamax wallet and this is the provider now the second thing is the signer signer is basically the user which is gonna uh, like uh, sign your transactions and a message we will be seeing that uh, what uh, type of messages we will be signing so this will be a uh, provider dot and uh, we need to like uh, get the signer from the our library so let's get this signer and this signer will be uh, a function the get signer is a function of this uh, provider uh, stuff and uh, let's just save this and let's see if we are having any complication or problem so yeah we didn't have any complication let's just have a console of both the things the provider and the sino provider comma sino and let's have a look that uh, how it actually looks so this signer is the J uh, json rpc signer and the provider is web3 provider so now it's time to move one step further and we will be getting the accounts so the signer will help us to get the accounts so yeah uh, we just need to call an uh, function and this is an uh, async function so we will be having await and our this uh, on click function is an async function so it will work now let's just call the meta marks and you can see that we got the address of our uh, particular account which we are connected to uh, you can just uh, go to this uh, account 3 connect to a website with account 3 and uh, over here if you just go to the meta marks then this time we will be having some another address the address of our uh, account which is connected so uh, we will be uh, calling few of the functions of ether.js uh, file or you can say ether.js library so let's say that we need to sign in message now we will be creating an um, constant uh, variable and this variable will be signing uh, will uh, be containing the sign of the message we are gonna sign 
so signer dot get a message sign so sign message sign message and uh, let's just pass the string so we say you welcome to newton school newton school so now we will be console log the sign sig and sign and each function of this library is uh, async only so asynchronous function so we will be using await now let's connect to the wallet and you will be getting a pop-up so this was the thing which we have observed in our last video when we were trying to experience the wallet connection in Vazirex uh, NFT place in the marketplace and same thing we have implemented in our particular application so whenever a person is uh, trying to connect to our uh, website using metamax wallet they have to sign the particular message which is welcome to a uh, newton school and this is the sign of that particular signer so these things helps us to sign the transactions send transactions and many much more things so many things are on the way we are uh, leading to a uh, web3 uh, genera we are leading to web3 era and in this era we will be making these types of applications so it's new on the platform uh, many platform does not cover this types of topics so it will be very helpful for us also if you subscribe to our channel and like this video and please share your thoughts on web3 and please share your uh, beliefs on uh, web3 in the comment section because we are ap active on comments and we will be loving your comments because we really need feedback that uh, is this uh, web3 series going very well or not so let's uh, end up the series thanks